All right, good afternoon everyone. So the last time I was here in Manila and when I was in BGC, a lot of you have told me that I missed out on an opportunity of a lifetime and I did not go to Venice Grand Canal Mall. So guess where your boy is today? <sighs> of course we made it. So apparently there is a 200 meter long canal over here and apparently you could ride on the gondola. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. And on top of that, when I say we, I don't speak French. It's because I am joined by the boy, Danny. We. Oui. How are you feeling, my brother? Pretty good. Ready Back to in do Manila. this? Came <laughs> on a big boat. That was a big canal I came through. This one's a bit smaller <laughs> probably, but yeah, man. Good awesome. To be here. Let's do it. Let's go in. So the first thing that you will notice outside of the mall, of course, is everything looks like a palace and it really, really feels like we're in Italy. I've never been to Italy, always wanted to go to Italy, so I'll probably do that at some point in the future. But from looking at the Italian movies, the Italian job and uh, everything else, this feels exactly the same. And we have a beautiful Love Venice sign over here, so let's go ahead and go inside. So here we are, we just made it and look at this beautiful site, man. It really feels like we are on some sort of canal. We've got people over there pushing on the swans. Hopefully I get on the gondola and not on the swans. Believe me, it's hot enough already, so I don't want to be paddling. But this looks really awesome, man. As you can see, we are surrounded by uh, pink buildings. Even the rooftops look like we're in Italy. And uh, even the water's actually super clear. I just uh, hope it's not that deep. You know your boy can't swim, so I don't want to be going inside that water. <laughs> and look at this one, awesome looking boat, man. Completely made out of wood. Beautiful decorative features. You got nice, uh, velvet seat over here as well really really awesome it would be cool if we can actually get on one of these but i don't think we can oh actually i think we can just from looking at the gondolas they pretty much look exactly the same as well look at them that's super cool and these things are pretty cool as well so you got like a little cage over here you got some flowers as well and some lights i think these will look super cool at night maybe you can come and uh, impress uh, your girlfriend or your boyfriend and uh, take some cool instagram pictures as you can see these flowers are very different as well these are pink ones over there you have some red ones and we have some more roses over here it looks really cool to be honest with you and i think this really really reminds me of the hotel the venetian hotel thank you so much welcome to the vlog <laughs> and yeah actually this really really reminds me of the hotel called the venetian in las vegas i've been there maybe five six years ago and it's exactly the same thing it's uh, pretty much the same theme you have a venetian theme you have boats over there as well. The only difference is in uh, Las Vegas is actually fully enclosed. You're inside the mall for the whole time. Over here, of course, we have the beautiful open sky. And uh, what a beautiful day today, man. Like, uh, luckily it's not raining today. Yesterday was fully raining. So I reckon we picked out the best day to come here. Something which I'm really liking here already is the amount of detail that goes into this type of mall, man. As you can see, you have the beautiful statues over there. Even the guardrails, the uh, lamps, even the little uh, posts over there as well obviously we are in manila we are not in italy we're not in venice so uh, to make manila look like we're in italy takes a lot of work man and uh, even the pool is surprisingly clean i mean obviously there's a lot of uh, boats there's a lot of swans that go on top of it so i would have assumed it would be a little bit uh, i guess more polluted but um, as you can see it's super clean and uh, nice beautiful crystal clear waters Nice little bridge over there, so we'll probably go ahead and go on top of that as well. All right, and here we are, guys. I walked about a couple of minutes down, and we just made it on top of this, I guess, romantic bridge, if you can call it. And there you go, man. The view gets even more beautiful up here, man. There you go. You got people there on the gondolas, on their umbrellas. Obviously, the umbrellas here in Manila are not for the rain. It's for the cousin of the sun, man. It is super hot up here. And uh, actually, one thing that I would notice over here as well is there's a lot of Italian food over here. So you have pizza. Yeah, pasta, spaghetti as well. So I reckon that is what we're gonna have to be doing. And something which I just noticed as well, is this bridge is super detailed, man. And uh, I guess people come here and get some locks, put their names on it. And uh, yeah, hopefully they lock their love away that way, man. So there you go, shout out to you, Karina and Sarah. I hope uh, you are still together. Obviously, I am here alone. Uh, I am still looking for a Filipino wife, so if there is someone who is interested, let me know. Oh, and there you go. Looks like some people got stuck up here. <laughs> so unfortunately for me, I think my only true love uh, is going to be food. And obviously, see a gym up there. So uh, there you go, guys. That is going to be me. <laughs> oh, it looks like there's a line to get a picture with Mama. <laughs> people took a picture with you earlier, so enough. <laughs> 
man, I can only imagine how hot he is right now. I am sweating and he is in a full suit. Maybe it's a she. Oh, okay. Who knows? The top G. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> Amazing. Salamat po. Salamat. <laughs> Fan was the best. So uh, we made it inside. Whoops, sorry sir. <laughs> sorry. I'm trying to get tickets to the counter. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Uh, can I get a ticket to the gondola? Uh, for the gondola, sir. Yes, please. Uh, we have a minimum four person now. Ah, only four person. Okay, are they happy to share with me? <laughs> I can go with three people. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm single. So, uh, <laughs> you want to come with me? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to join four, uh, three people. Thank you so much. All right, picture. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. I guess I'm gonna crash boat with someone else. Uh, it's only minimum of four people on there and obviously I am single so I'm gonna be uh, I guess a Filipino family is gonna have to be adopting me today just reach this little area this is where you get the boat from nice little artificial grass some artificial flowers me amor of course means my love and uh, yeah unfortunately for me I am here and I am here a lot so uh, there you go guys this is what it looks like nice little lights everywhere I think this place will look even nicer at night when you can see these lights a little bit better these gondolas will be a little bit better lit as well oh wow there's the uh, swans they sound pretty squeaky to me I'm not gonna lie it's just a natural sound they make no? oh yeah? yeah <laughs> this is the maiden call huh? Yeah. <laughs> alright so uh, just me huh? just me I'm very uh, single as well, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to buy your tickets? No, no, just uh, just leave by myself. Sit down. <laughs> what country are you from? Enjoy. Uh, Iraq and London. Mix up. Take care of my man, yeah? Like no I'm... problemo, signore. Right. <laughs> well, this is cool. Ah, oh. And the best thing about the whole thing. Is I don't have to do any paddling whatsoever, man. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Ryan, sir. Ryan, nice to meet you. I am Ali. Ali. Ali, thank nice you, sir. You, sir oh, there you go, guys. So, uh, looks like Ryan is just paddling with a single paddle. There's no motors or anything, huh? Yes, sir, but. It's, it's just hand power. Hand power, sir. Amazing. It looks easy, sir, but. No, I can imagine it's hard. <laughs> yeah. How, how many hours do you do per day? Eight hours, sir. Eight hours? Wow, man. no wonder why you are built like Hulk. I, um, I this, uh, this job, sir, if you want to lose your weight, this is the perfect job. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I found out the best way to lose weight and get really toned is stress. Stress is amazing to lose weight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. <laughs> it's your first time in the Philippines, sir. Uh, third time, third time, third time. Yeah, but unfortunately, as you can see, uh, single. I need to get a Filipino wife. <laughs> oh, it looks like we got some single ladies. Hello, single ladies. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Hi, mom. <Ma. laughs> wow, this is cool, man. There you go. We've got people taking pictures over there, getting their Instagram moments. And uh, yeah, this is actually nice and cool, man. Over there, it was a lot hotter. But when you're this close to the water and you got the little breeze going on top of it, it feels nice and cool. And I didn't realize, if you could see, the uh, the walls are not actually that high. So if you really wanted to, you could uh, bang your head on there and fall in the water. But well, obviously we don't want to do that. But this is cool, man. Nice and relaxing. How deep is the water, Ryan? Only is three feet, sir. Only three feet? Yeah. So just enough to get drowned in, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I can't swim. <laughs> Actually, is it cool? Ah, it's nice. It's nice and cool, huh? It's uh, obviously it's not salt water. It's going to be fresh water. So uh, nice, man. It feels nice and fresh. Obviously, I don't want to be jumping on it. Three, three feet is enough to drown me, guys. Believe me, I, I could probably drown in a glass of water. 
But uh, yeah, all these people are probably just looking at this random guy sitting by himself on the boat. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm single. I'm single. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> This is so much fun. Obviously, it would be much more fun if you come and shared it with a friend. Uh, but yeah, obviously, Dan had to go and do his own thing. And uh, obviously, that bromas would have been a lot stronger. So uh, we don't need any of that. <laughs> and here we go. We have some more people. Hello. Hey. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Bye. <-bye. laughs> huh? A very famous uh, sign. What? This one? Joints, two joints. What does it mean? Um, it's, uh, it's something uh, <laughs> like victory sign? Similar? Uh, what side? What side? That sign is uh, famous when uh, a politician, Isco Moreno, ran for a president. Ah. That's the sign, two joints. Ah, so it's a, it's a good sign? Yeah. Okay, so I'll go, I'll walk like this every day, huh? Yeah, yeah two joints. <laughs> two joints, eh? Hey. Uh, <laughs> For the millennials now. Uh, oh yeah. Millennial. Unfortunately, I'm no lot. I don't know if I am a millennial. I'm 32. <laughs> Does that count? I'm old. Well, sir. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old and grey, guys, as you can see. All right, and here we are. Looks like we are back to dock. Oh, wait, we go to the oh this is good. I don't want to make you tired. This is oh, good for me. Sorry, it's good for me. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It is good. We can stop. I will save you some energy. What a nice man Ryan is. He insisted on taking me even further. Thank you, Ryan. Salamat. Salamat, Kuya. <laughs> what a legend. All right, and here we are. We are back to dock in our place. No mix dock. Okay. Salamat, Kuya. Thank you, Pa. Thank you, sir. And this is uh, just a tip for you, my brother. Thank you, sir. And very lucky, Signore. Thank you so much. Salamat, Pa. Salamat. I appreciate it, my brother. Thank you, Pop. Thank you, sir. Biggest thing ever. Ah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you. Have a good day. Amazing. What a nice man he was. And uh, yeah, man, as you can see, he was working very, very hard. And uh, obviously, I'm just there by myself vlogging, and he was happy to be on camera. But as well as that, he insisted on taking me around the whole area. And uh, yeah, he said he does this job about eight or nine hours per day. And he's just constantly paddling. Believe me, guys, I did that paddling for about 20 minutes in one of my previous video. And believe me, I was spent for the whole day. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give him a little bit of a tip. And just outside, we reached this little uh, nice fountain area. Again, just surrounded by this uh, beautiful decorative walls. Again, it really, really feels like we are in some sort of uh, Italian palace of some sort. Unfortunately, the fountain looks like it has seen better days. It's quite low, but as you can see, there's a lot of pesos around here. There's, uh, I don't know, there's at least a hundred pesos. Tempted to jump in and get some pesos for myself, but obviously I am here to make a wish. All right, you know what? I'll make a wish on your behalf as well. So I'll take 10 seconds, make a wish, and we can go together. All right, that's enough. Uh, I hope your wish and mine comes true. Did you get a toy? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Hopefully next time, next time. And uh, cool little toys. I think this one is from uh, that Japanese cartoon. My sister watches that cartoon, so I know exactly. She would know exactly the name of that toy, but I wouldn't. And uh, just over here we have uh, some uh, lions. We have, uh, I don't know, some sort of frogs. Some sort of whale. Some sort of huge teddy bear over there. Look at that chocolate teddy bear. That's a cool teddy bear, man. And there uh, we have pandas, we have some dinosaurs, we have some pugs, look at that, a cute little pug. And uh, we have some more frogs. And actually, you need to exchange uh, your pesos to get a token, and you can play with the token. So uh, let's go ahead and do that over here. So how does this work? Uh, oh, it uh, only uses bills, interesting, okay. So luckily, I think I have a 50 peso over here, so let's go ahead and... Oh, you got one! Oh, you got one, yeah? Yeah! Yes! Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, nice! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> 500 pesos! <laughs> it's worth every penny, every peso. 
All right, so how do we do this? I want to be as happy as that lady. But uh, I'm not looking to spend 500 pesos, man. Oh, there you go. We've got some, uh, some coins over here. All right, so uh, let's see. Which one do I really want? I think the one with uh, this one. Ah, oh, this one's not working. No, I wanted this one. I wanted this one. <laughs> the only one that I wanted is uh, not working. All right, let's see. Which one is the nice, nicest one? I'll tell you what, I think this, uh, this pink one looks good. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Hopefully it's work. All right, so it looks like I just need a single coin. How are we doing? Is that good? Let's give it a try. Oh, 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 ah! Oh. <laughs> did you see how flimsy that arm was? Oh my God, let's try again, let's try again. I really want that pink one, man, it looks good. All right, let's see. All right, that looks good, nice and positioned. Oh, come on, come on, oh! Oh my God, did you see that? <laughs> I got scammed. <laughs> Well, it's calm. Right, let, let me try. Uh, let me try the pug. Maybe I got better luck with Mr. Pug over here. All right, I tell you what. I grabbed his head before. Maybe I need to grab his ass. All right, that is positioned very nicely on top of his ass. Let's go ahead. And give it a try. Oh my God, that is such a flimsy arm. All right, let me <laughs> let me move on to the next one. Ugly looking toy. I can't lie to you, man. It's uh, it's like a weird little frog, but the lady managed to win one here. So hopefully we get lucky with this one. And unfortunately we have just one coin left. So one more try after this. All right, let's go. All right, that looks good. Oh, oh my God. No chance. All right, last little coin. Come on, please work. All right, let's go right at the back. Hopefully the machine is not expecting me to go for this one. Oh my God. No, a single chance. There you go, guys. That is how to spend 50 pesos in Grand Venice Mall very, very quickly. <laughs> Look at this beautiful thing, man. You got a nice decorative dome on top of you, stained glass. I'm not sure what this is supposed to reference. It's probably a reference to some sort of famous dome somewhere, but it looks super awesome. And uh, just the corner of my eye, look at this man, a full Batman figurine. Look at that, my man's got glasses on, he's got the Batman belt on. Look at this, it looks like he's been hitting quads, man. That's a lot of leg days right there. Really, really cool, man. So this is the cinema inside of the mall. And uh, there you go, a see-through lift as well. And what is this? Oh, wow, that is super cool. Disney's Beauty and the Beast. And you got the rose right there. Obviously, uh, there's no way of getting to that rose. I can't remember what the story goes. Does that rose keep dying throughout the whole film? And until he kisses her, that rose goes back to life? I don't know. Let me know how that goes. And it uh, looks like we have some more new movies over here. We have uh, Lightyear as well, Buzz Lightyear. Wow, he looks very different. I remember in Toy Story, my man looked very different. He had like a purple little hat thing on. And uh, just over here have Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson of course, awesome and it looks like this is where you get your tickets to go ahead and go inside and something you can smell over here is that popcorn man I can just, crazy on it. going so crazy on that butter man you can just honestly smell like kilos and kilos of butter I can smell a heart attack coming on <laughs> we reach another Instagram worthy area again I feel like all these things are kind of made out for couples you got some roses over there some beautiful petals and uh, a single vlogger right here hey uh. <laughs> oh my god it looks like everyone has turned up all of these people of course Danny and Harry fans hello Hello, hello, hello. Welcome hello. to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> wow, got a lot busy over here, huh? Again, people just here taking the Instagram selfies. Hello. Hi. 
Nice people though. We've been walking out for a little bit, getting really, really hungry, and now we are ready for some Italian food. Just over here, we have a Starbucks, and uh, this is actually where we are going. Mama Lou's Italian Kitchen. Apparently, this is one of the best places to come and get some pizza. Hello. And uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna come and get, man. I need me some pizza. Ooh, baby. It's a nice looking place, huh? Beautiful decoration, nice little chandelier. And I like this little uh, bar area as well. It looks awesome. Hopefully, they serve some nice, authentic Italian pizzas. This is what the menu looks like. And my eyes are drawn over here straight away for the pizzas. How are you, Lester? Uh, you okay? Salamat po. Um, can I please get your best margarita pizza? Uh, why don't you try sir, our signature pizza, the Mamalu Special? It contains the mango, prosciutto, with uh -huh. arugula, with some balsamic. Okay. Uh, no meat? Uh, only the prosciutto. The uh, prosciutto just like a parmahan. Oh, uh, I can only eat chicken. Oh, okay, chicken so, or beef. So I'm so sorry. So I will recommend you sir the pizza margarita. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Okay, sir. All right, and uh, can I also get one of your it's finest mango iced tea? Mango iced tea, okay. Uh huh. And is there any pasta that you recommend as well? Uh, any pasta that you recommend? The uh, uh, no meat, no uh, chicken or beef. Uh, for me, sir, why don't you try our signature here, the delicious truffle pasta? Which one? This one? Yes, uh, condensed our white sauce with some uh, parmesan. Awesome. Mushroom with the uh, goda cheese okay. and truffle cream. Ooh, sounds good. Okay, let's do it. So, sounds matzo wrap. It's <laughs> a so delicious truffle pasta, sir. Amazing. Okay. Thank you, Lester. Salamat kuya, Lester. Look at this one. Beautiful thin crust, and look at that. It's got some nice charcoal marks nice and crispy and uh, you have got some beautiful leaves of uh, basil i think and look at that mozzarella now that looks like a proper italian pizza right there man so uh, let's go ahead and try it straight away nice and plain no sauce no vinegar nothing just how the chef intended me to eat it so let's go ahead and give it a try mm. up. Master up. That's a delicious pizza, man. Mm. Nice and crunchy. Super thin crust. Obviously, that is delicious. And uh, just off camera, we got recommended to try this uh, David's hot honey with the pizza as well. So let's get a fresh piece of pizza. Put that baby right there. Let's get some of this uh, hot honey. Choose a little bit on top. And let's give that a try. Hopefully it's not too spicy. But uh, your boy is kind of used to spices now, man. I've been to India and I've had some of the spiciest food over there. So I okay, this is going to be a nice, easy walk in the park. Mm. Oh, wow. That is spicy. It's like, it just gets you at the back of your throat straight away. But it's nice and sweet. And, uh, Definitely a nice little uh, addition to the pizza, especially if you go if you like me and you just went with a simple margarita. It's a nice hint of extra flavor. And uh, obviously, if you're eating in any Italian place, you have to try their bread, man. Look at this. You've got some beautiful herbs on it. And look at that. Nice and squishy. Hopefully, it will soak up all of those juices, all of that tomato and anchovies as well. Mm. a little bit of garlic taste as well and let's scoop up some of that tomatoes mm. that's pretty good man and i reckon finally we're gonna go ahead and try some of this uh truffle pasta and there you go we've got some sort of mushrooms on top of it some sort of herbs as well put that baby on top and I reckon the move is to get some uh, I think this is chili I think it's chili sauce hot sauce of some sort I tell you what let's go crazy let's put some hot sauce put some of this hot sauce as well 
Oh man, I might regret this. And as well as that, let's try some hot honey as well. There you go. If you still don't think I am crazy, now you know your boy is loco loco. <laughs> All right, let's try this spicy ass looking pizza. Oh. Not that spicy actually. I think all the cream and the carbonara really tones down all of those hot sauces. But it's actually pretty delicious man. Nice and creamy. The mushrooms are pretty good. And the pasta. It's cooked just al dente. Exactly how I like it man. That is the bill. It's 1,454 pesos. So it's not too bad. We had two pizzas, we had a pasta and an iced mango so i'm just gonna put a little bit on top of it as well thank you sir salamat po salamat kuya thank you thank you thank you so much thank you thank you Paul. take care yeah bye bye have a good day thank you so much bye bye amazing very very good food and that service was amazing salamat kuya lesta oh wow it's uh it's a photo opportunity over here Hello. <laughs> Hello Instagram yeah Instagram <laughs> looking sharp ladies looking sharp <laughs> and here we are so we made it to the second floor and uh, we have a nice little uh, juice bar over here and these things are cool what the hell is that buddies wow these are probably the scariest looking Italian dudes I've seen in my life man Luigi and Mario <laughs> ah and here we go this is a much better vantage point man this is where you can really see everything you have all of the gondolas the canals you got my man pushing the boats over there as well and you got people just chilling relaxing and right now the sun is finally starting to go down so it feels much cooler you've got a nice little breeze going and it's uh honestly a pretty nice move i wasn't expecting much coming here i thought it's going to be like a tourist trap tourist attraction but uh I think it's very nicely done to be honest with you the food's being very good the uh, shops are being very good as well and the little gondola thing I think it just adds uh, a little bit of uh, uniqueness to this mall it makes it very very different to the other malls that we've been to uh, like the biggest uh, mall in the Philippines SM uh, Mall of Asia or the uh, BGC malls or even the Makati malls um, I thought honestly this is probably one of my favorite ones here so far it's, uh, it's got a little bit more character and it's definitely much more unique than the other ones we've been to. I like it. And it uh, looks like my man over there is getting a little bit tired. As you can see, he's pushing with his arms and legs and knees at the same time. My man, you should have went for the gondola. It would have been so much easier. Push! Push! <laughs> so uh, right now, we're just walking outside of the mall. And uh, yeah, I think we spent about three, four hours maybe in there. Literally walked around all of the place. We got to taste a little bit of the food. We jumped on the gondola and we also had time to play uh, on those arcade games as well, man. And I think honestly, this is one of my favorite malls over here. Again, it is not the newest, it's not the grandest, but I think the uniqueness and the appeal of it is really, really good. So uh, definitely enjoyed myself here. And thank you again for recommending this place. Uh, and Danny, what was your thoughts about this mall? Yeah, it was quite a bit better than I thought it would be. I think with the sunshine, it was very like nice, organized, pretty clean. I mean, like you mentioned before, like like with these theme places, sometimes it can become like a little bit just like, a, let's say, a little fun activity. But it's like an actual mall. People go out, sit at restaurants. The vibe is pretty chill also, even for the weekend. So, a decent place. Better than I thought. Yeah. Like, visitable. Yeah, yeah, definitely, for sure. By the way guys, this is probably a good time as any to go ahead and end the video. If you are enjoying the content that I am making here in the Philippines and in Manila, please do subscribe and follow and comment down below your recommendations for the next video. Again, I visited this mall completely based on your recommendations. So thank you again and I will see you in the next video. Salamat po.